doesn't feel right. This is the part of the video where I tell you that I actually vlogged the whole trip up. Eight days of driving, probably eight videos worth of content, easily. But I made the mistake of deleting the source file before the edit was done. So when I sat down to drop all the files into the timeline, they had that little warning sign on them and they were gone. Previously on Eric Lovely. I don't remember the last time I was in Alaska carefree. The military paid for me to ship all my stuff getting out of Alaska, so might, might as well ship it almost as far away as I could, right? <laughs> and now I can get the experience of getting out of Alaska, bringing it all back up here, getting out of Alaska, bringing it all back up here, getting out of Alaska, bringing it all back up here. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> The lost videos, we'll just call those the lost videos. Bro, bro. I just retired from the military. I'm able to do this, you know, even though it was difficult AF, man. Yeah, in the lost videos, I captured like how difficult it was. And you know, maybe it was a blessing that all those videos got deleted, but I kind of wish I still had them. Six months ago, I was standing right here talking about it was nice to be in Alaska carefree and I hadn't felt that way in a long time <sighs> and it's back it's back <laughs> Subaru you know what I don't like this place. I'm leaving. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Eric Lovely, you just moved from Alaska to Georgia, back to Alaska, and now you're like, I don't like this place and you're moving again? Yeah! I had some realizations on that drive three, I think. One, that was like the first time I've done something alone like that, driven for eight days across the continent uh, with all my and, and what I mean alone is I didn't have anybody to rely on, whether it's conversation or to bounce ideas off, where to stay for hotels, food, all that stuff, right? Or anybody to talk through frustrations like uh, losing cell service through most of Canada. <laughs> all of British Columbia and Yukon, there was, I mean, spotty service, so bring a map, a good one. And when I would stop at night for a hotel, they always had Wi-Fi or service in the town, so I would preload everything. So that led into realization number two. Uh, I put a lot of pressure on myself as far as being prepared, meaning, and we'll use the trip as an example, you try to think of everything, right? Uh, whether it's tools, spare tires, food, water, where are you gonna sleep, what route you're gonna take, what if this happens, then I'll do this. One thing about U-Haul is they don't give you any spare tires. They don't want you changing tires if you happen to have a tire that will fit. I'll tell this story later, but I did blow a tire, two actually, <laughs> within a mile of each other. Uh, I was very frustrated. I mean, I even had a satellite phone, but because of the mountains, the terrain, whatever, the higher latitude, which the company told me shouldn't have been an issue. How's it going? <laughs> I'm still not used to like talking to a camera with people around. I mean, I could just make this video in my office or whatever, and but that's not nearly as fun. The company I rented the phone from, it was through Verizon Wireless. I can't remember the name of the company that they actually sub it out to. They told me that the latitude should have no effect on the use of that satellite phone. But given my background, I do know that it has an effect. <laughs> I know that they do. And I could literally watch the signal fade in and fade out as different satellites were coming into range. Either way, I was prepared, right? I thought I was. Well, this satellite phone kept losing signal and U-Haul being who they are, I found that if your signal dropped before the conversation is over, they don't even do a claim. <laughs> so that was frustrating. Anyway, 
Yes, I realize that I beat myself up when I haven't thought of every contingency. All the way down to simple things, like if I make it all the way to a gig and I forget something. But we'll just say something like that did happen, which it has, but I was only like five minutes away from the venue. You know, I beat myself up about it. So that was realization number two, that I'm not gonna think of everything. Or no matter how hard you try to think of every contingency, there's gonna be something like a satellite phone. <laughs> Number three, oh, I'm getting warm. Number three, I met a few people along the way. The two guys that came out to change said tire on U-Haul. Yeah! The last hotel I stayed at had a restaurant connected to it and the, the guy working behind the bar, he was asking me all the same questions. Where are you coming from? You know, driving a U-Haul through Canada questions. Something that was similar between all three of these people is they all said the same thing. Once they figured out, I just retired. My son's older, he just joined the Navy and I'm making what some may consider a rash or quick decision to just pick up and move after I just moved to Georgia, moved back to Alaska. Uh, they're like, no, you're doing the right thing. If one guy specifically, he was telling me this was in British Columbia, Watson Lake area. He told me specifically, he's like, I wanted to move back here to Watson Lake when I was your age. And he was in a similar situation, but he didn't. And he says, if I could go back to where you are right now, I would have done the exact same thing. And that was the message I got from all three of these people. You know, if I was in your position, I'd be doing the exact same thing. That felt good. And I joke about this a lot. Have you ever heard of FU money? The way it's been told to me is like FU money is enough money to like leave society, go to a different country and start a whole different life altogether. <sighs> I'm talking like enough money and savings, even a, a low interest rate credit card that you able to pay off in a reasonable amount of time if you had to use it. Being able to throw the cash down or swipe a card and say, you know what? I don't like this place. I'm leaving. <laughs> Uh, if I hadn't already made an opening for this video, this one, <laughs> that would have been perfect. Eric Lovely, you just moved from Alaska to Georgia, back to Alaska, and now you're like, I don't like this place and you're moving again? Yeah! No, <laughs> no, I'm here for a little bit. My son doesn't leave for the Navy until July as of right now, so I'm here until then at least. <laughs> I will show you my, uh, storage unit in this video, but I have like a 10 by 20 heated storage unit, which I need to downgrade because my current place doesn't have a garage. So I'm kind of using that as a garage, but it's bigger than I need now because I purged a lot. You know, all the stuff I should have sold before I moved it across the continent, but hey, here we are. And that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> These effing stairs. Weird noises around here sometimes. I had those eight days to just think. Just me in the cab of a truck. Had a lot of time to think, a lot of time to reflect. And I wanna say this, over the past, I'll just say 16 months or so. What are you doing, silly birds? Anyway, I made a lot of promises. A lot of things I said I was going to do. A lot of plans, a lot of videos. For that, I apologize, because I did not fill my end of the deal. I actually have a great idea, but I'm not going to put it on this video. <laughs> it's a great idea for vlogging specifically that I have not seen anybody else doing. And I think it would be pretty cool. We're not gonna talk about that. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Mr. Ventura. There's someone on the way. Some thing. You have to wait and find out. Whew. Let's see, check the heart rate. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad, good. I've been swimming. I bit the bullet, got a membership at the Alaska Club again. Love, hate experience with that place. What are those birds doing? Yeah, anyway, so far so good. I've been swimming four days a week, five days a week sometimes. I've been doing some band stuff. Hold on, check that out. Whew. Yep, yep, yep. I said earlier in the video that I've been purging stuff. I wanna say $1,700 worth of stuff. And I'm doing stuff like this. 
taking the next six months to just kind of figure out where I want to go from here. Uh, see what the music stuff turns out to be. Also doing this. Yeah, hit me up on my social media, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Cause I put random stuff on there. It's funny. <laughs> I think it's funny anyway. There's those birds. I am back in Alaska. And for the time being, that's where I'm going to stay. A little weird video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. We'll see you later. Whoa. Ugh.